Hello and welcome to another Khan Academy tutorial. This is Mr. West and we are doing dilations and properties today. And I think what it means to say in this uh, Khan Academy tutorial is, or this Khan Academy exercise is that it's properties of dilations. Let's go ahead and get started then with quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So if we have quadrilateral A, B, C, D prime, and that's what these little uh, apostrophes mean right there, it's the result of a transformation. So we're gonna transform, okay, uh, and get this resulting shape right here. And the transformation we're talking about is a dilation, as it says right here. Uh, a, B, C, D, this is the original shape right here. A, B, C, D, it's this one. And we're uh, expanding it. That's what a dilation is, is an expansion uh, of a factor of three. So it says determine whether each claim about the properties of ABCD and ABC prime is true or false. All right, so the first claim, the measures of angle B and angle B prime are equal. As we have this shape here expand, it's going to go, and I'm not going to do an exact, but I'm just going to give an estimate. It's going to expand about that point B, and it's going to expand in every direction, okay? So as it expands, the proportions of the sides are going to stay the same, okay? The proportions stay the same. It just gets triple the value of the sides. So as it expands, we triple the size of the shape, but the proportions stay the same. So the angles are also going to stay the same. So the angles are going to be equal. AB and AB prime, those two segments, are both perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, let's go ahead and do some erasing here. As we look in here, whoops, I didn't mean to erase that, but just the same. AB is a perpendicular to the x-axis, which is here, okay? It's a vertical line. So as we expand it, the same thing is also gonna be true. It's gonna stay vertical. So that is true. It's gonna stay perpendicular. All right, next question. Uh, here we have triangle ABC. Prime is the result of dilating ABC about point B by a scale factor of four over three. So about 1.3 times bigger. This is equivalent to 1.3 repeating. So we multiply all the sides. The scale factor is 1.3 repeating, and that's what we're gonna multiply. That's how much bigger it's gonna be. Determine whether each claim is true or false. The lengths of AB and AB prime are equal. Well, if we're dilating this about a scale factor, that means it's going to get bigger. That's the definition of a dilation. So this is clearly false. And dilation is mean when it gets bigger or smaller, but if the scale factor, and this is important, I'll make this note, for dilations, if the scale factor is bigger than one, okay, that means it's gonna be a growth. If the scale factor, let me write that differently. If the scale factor is bigger than one, then that means it's gonna be growth. If it's less than one, that means it's going to be a shrink, okay? So it's gonna, what's another way word for shrink? I feel like there's decline, we'll say shrink. So growth and shrink. If it's less than one, it's uh, a shrink, and it's bigger than one, it's growth. This is clearly bigger than one, so it's gonna be growth. Okay, let's go back to uh, here. The areas of ABC and ABC prime are the same. Definitely not. If it's gonna expand, then the area is definitely gonna change because that's the definition of area, is the length of the base times the length of the height times one half, but either way, it's not gonna be the same area. Next question. Quadrilateral ABC prime is results result of dilating a, uh, ABCD about point A by a scale factor of three over four. Okay, cool. This is what we were just talking about. We're gonna shrink here because this is a number that is less than one. Therefore, it is going to contract. It is going to shrink. It is going to get smaller. So let's see what, it's gonna look something like this it's going to about be about not about it's going to be 75 percent of the size because that's three over four all right let's take a look the measure of a and a prime are equal and that's the angle okay we already talked about that it maintains its proportion as it shrinks or grows so that is true ad and a d prime are on distinct parallel lines so ad and a d prime are on distinct parallel lines this is actually a tougher question than it looks okay so as it shrinks, I think this is what it's asking. 
Sometimes these Khan Academy's little interpretation liberties are, are going on. But I think I was asking is as this shrinks, so I can't zoom in on this unfortunately, but as it goes from this pink or purple line to this green line, does it stay on the same parallel line or is it a different parallel line? The thing is it's being shrunk around point A. This is the trick here. If it's attached to this point, we're shrinking it around that point. So that means that parallel line is gonna stay on the same parallel lines. So I think that is false. It stays on the same parallel line. That's correct, all right. Now we're going about point D, looks like, based on the color. And it's a scale factor of three over two. That's one and a half. So it's gonna be a growth here because it is bigger than one, so that is a growth. Okay. Determine whether each claim about the properties of A, B, C, D and A, B, C prime are true or false. I like, why does it say is true or false? Okay, each, okay, got it, is true or false. The perimeters A, B, C, D and are the same? No, if it's going to expand, then the perimeter is definitely going to change. The lengths of C, D and C, D prime are equal. Uh, that is also false because it's going through an expansion, so it's gr uh, growing and those are both false. And that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out other videos uh, on other geometric concepts, uh, CUDA worksheet tutorials, notes, uh, anything about the Common Core, math program, and of course, Khan Academy. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time.